Uh, hello everyone, here with another LEGO Star Wars Summer 2024 review, and this one's on the Onyx Center, and also from Skeleton Crew, of course. So, on the front of the box here, we have the LEGO Star Wars logos, and the uh, similar border to what we've been seeing since early 2022, but also with a gray strip and the bunch of figs in the cord representing that Skeleton Crew, but although the gray strip of which we have seen in a couple other things, I uh, was being... Uh, Jedi Fallen Order, and Andor. Although it would be nice if it was a different color to that, but whatever. And then picture of the Onyx Cinder in a flying position, and all the minifigs included. And then recommended ages is 10 and up. Set number 75374 has 1,325 pieces. And flip to the back side of the box. Have it in a resting position and just some of the features of it and little selected picture that there is and also it appears to be in a forest not sure if it's like Endor or whatever but we'll just have to find out and then the two logos again and there and now onto the manual which odd rendering that there is or odd CGI rendering there is. <coughs> the transition from plastic bags to paper bags and after the builder app. And then how to win on the online survey. And then all the pieces that come with the set, of course. Which is actually three pages and then little advertisement of 25th anniversary, although it would be nice if there were advertisements for some other sets in here, which they barely do much nowadays with manuals, but yeah. And then the last building steps. First of which we have a uh, Jod, or for the minifigs, first is Jod, of which kind of interesting torso printing that there is. Although, kind of, although feeling kind of similar to that of Tobias Beckett from Solo, then. And also have a scarf piece like most recent, like we've been seeing in most recent times. And also face printing and kind of good for how it is. And also nice use of this uh, hair piece, which well, all these mini figs of which are quite mysterious, and this whole set quite mysterious since obviously not at all any mention of the show Skeleton Crew at least at this time. Well, I'm just kind of we're just gonna kind of wing it here with looks and things. And then next to which we have Wim, and of course some of these kind of both the. Uh, both mid legs and short legs for that, since all these characters are, of course, children for that, and Ja is the only full grown adult then. So, anyways, on to with Wim is does kind of does nice to see that uh, Afro hair piece like we saw in from the Encanto sets in the Disney theme, and also the torso printing, and quite good for that, and not only leg printing, well, since it's mid legs, of course, and of course holding both a walkie talkie and also, uh, which, like all these character figs, which have different colored flashlights made of lightsaber hilts and a pair of studs. It's, well, quite kind of odd how that is, but whatever. And then next to which is KB, which has kind of good torso printing, which you can definitely use on some custom figs if you wanted, and also, hands of which in traditional yellow, instead of being skin tones, which maybe it's for some gloves, but whatever. And then the hair piece of which, which nice to see used in this white coloring, and also the face printing, kind of neat for how it is, like, obviously, with this, like, visor type print on it, but the uh, double side face of which does show regular eyes and also another version of this, which I'll show in a bit. 
and then next to which is Fern, which with the short, also with the mid legs and also lights, and also flashlight, but in uh, yellow compared to red and dark blue for the other two, and also quite good uh, face printing, which I think might be the same as Hermione Ranger in the Harry Potter theme. I'm not sure, but yeah. But how are the torso printing? Quite nice for how it is. What is it? And also the good use of this hair piece of which I see in this dark brown coloring. But yeah. And then last of which is a uh, Neil N E E L Neil, which with the quite good torso printing that is looking like dark red overalls and of course holding an orange flashlight now and the head piece of which. The sculpting and the prints do look quite good for how they are, and although kind of feels similar to Max Rebo, although maybe he's the same race as Max Rebo, I'm not sure. But yeah. And then onto the back sides of each of them is obviously I mean, Max Rebo, the most unique torso printing out of all of them, and of course, all right torso printings for all of them. And then also all of which do have some uh, double-sided faces for that. Whereas with Wim and uh, Fern, which do have some like kind of stern face printings, and also a uh, jot kind of a worried face print. But then as for KB here is notice that little uh, technology bit on there, which is actually some the visor fit, but just kind of turned or reverted in and outwards or maybe flipped or shrunken and flipped or, or however that is and and of course the, this is probably the most useful uh, base print and with like custom figs and such yeah And so now that is about it with all the minifigs included here. And now on to the Onyx Cinder itself, which from first glance kind of feels has similar looks to the uh, Knights of Ren transport ship slash Night Buzzard from 2020, but in uh, darkish gray but instead of black but actually darkish gray with uh, with white mixed in and also a little bits of tan mixed in as well so kind of interesting to see there so first of all with the uh, front part of here is a slanted kind of top wave which and these couple little bits outwards probably not sure if they're like blasters or whatever and also one spot with a light on it and also this little pincher part to it uh, not sure what's about and well all the features of the set big mystery for that so just so we're just gonna kind of wing it here but underneath the witch is I like this little uh, a uh, ratchet joint kind of bit here where you can grab onto and let it come down as boarding ramp to it. And honestly, it's not to like have a me okay, walk up and into. And close it up easily, like so, like some boarding ramps. Then onto this upper section, which, which does have a a pair of stud shooters that swivel all around the witch and also there's that in two spots for that or in a few spots of which and of course can like take those and fire off like so and of course this similar to the uh, 2022 ATTE set for that. and then further down in which is also have the astromech droid head pieces that are clear to be like mini turrets or such like we saw on the uh, t6 shuttle last year or for that so i just have that twice there so kind of interesting how that is 
And then as for this side, which has another turret there, and also a satellite dish piece, kind of like the Millennium Falcon. So that, and then as for the top sections, which quite some good bit of greebling, like with gold bar pieces and little vent or grill pieces around, and also a single uh, printed dish piece, and also same within the far back of it as well. And it also does have these six engine parts of it, like two in the front and these two in the far back that are on and above these wing assemblages, which are a little similar to other wing part parts of it, made of just traditional uh, wedge plates. And also these turbine pieces like we've been seeing on a couple of X-wing sets and also with dish pieces again, but with little turbine stickers in it. So there's quite a few stickers in this set then. And also on this side of which does have the little bit of landing gear on here, but and also going up with the barrel pieces in light gray, mostly to act as like extra grief link, which nice use of that piece there. But this side which can like accessible and can open up in two ways like that and calm down like that so just about like the uh, resistance ITS transport from 2020 where you can access it easily like that then and then as for this little interior space here is see it does have a couple of chairs like bits and also a little bed kind of area over there and also that table there with the a rounded off plate from the Super Mario theme, well, with a large sticker on it, but kind of interesting how it is, but yeah. And then this little area over here, traditional telescope piece and a light lamp piece there, and also a little cooking pot and jar of something in there. And I close this up. And then flip to the other side, which is a kind of different story for that. And also, as I forgot to mention on the other side, is a little rebeling down there, quite good. And also have this little cockpit area, which feeling kind of similar to that of the Millennium Falcon feels, where cockpit is on just randomly on one side there. And then also does have a couple more stud shooters on there, so plenty of firepower on this set is you can like open this up a which and then also does have the main cockpit area like a pair of sticker control panels in there and also a little tile piece that is kind of the main seat for that and of course and obviously like on the box cover it shows jaw to kind of sitting down in there and you can like zoom down in there and then close it over him like so and nice and snug in there and then also a little bit more going on with the uh, kind of curved jagged slopes nice to see there and also a little bit there as well and and this bottom section same stuff as the other side but and also you have a little mini turn that just swivels around at the end, doesn't fire or anything. But also can, uh, but it can also bring it downwards like that. Then, as you can see, there's a couple of hanging brackets on, or hanging brackets right here. And that is where you can uh, store all their flashlights onto since they which have, are comprised of lightsaber hilts and both of which have studs on them so quite clever use of this uh, kind of feature but yeah and then on to the uh, far back part of which or the very back side is does have this kind of unique uh, build to it like these like mini panels and which I think might have been on some other sets. I can't recall if they were. But yeah. <coughs> and then to this other back part, which is kind of a similar boarding ramp feature, but you can like 
pull it downwards, and then there are these two crates. Like this one of which, that's small one that has just a pair of cookies in them. Probably to feed to Ewoks or whatever. And then this other larger crate where you can open up and got a pink one fruit in it. Just like we saw in last year's Ghost and Phantom 2 set. So kind of, well since this is of course another Mandoverse uh, series, but yeah. And then on to the main feature of this whole set is, like, if you notice that, like, Technic beam sticking out with a uh, too long rod in there. Well, what you do with it is, you can also do it while lying down, is turn on it and makes the engines and the back wings uh, turn up and down, like so. So, so quite a neat feat. Some like technique working in there, so, uh, which pretty neat then. Well, like as for the size part of it, uh, was quite large for hundred forty dollars. Then, yeah, hundred forty dollars that it is. Unlike with some hundred forty dollar sets, which can be in, which are in the same size range, but yeah. So now, on to the final verdict. So overall, I think this is which a quite good set, or quite cool set for how it is, like a unique assortment of minifigs, and also some unique building techniques for that, but, which, not gonna spoil, because wants to get in, get in and build it and see how it goes like, but yeah. And then, as for some of the designs, which quite unique compared to most Star Wars ships that we're used to, and also some unique shaping to it, and pretty sure that this set along, that this set is will be the uh, flagship of this, this uh, series skeleton crew for that, since it has all the main characters and this is what they'll be in the most of that. Well, well, obviously at the time of this recording, not any mention of it yet. So obviously buying it at this time is what some would call blind buy, but at least it's which a kind of workable for that, or at least a kind of a good excuse for that. Like do get some unique techniques and also an all new ship to add to the Lego Star Wars catalog and also a new unique one to add into any ongoing collection that there is. And despite being all mysterious, for, well, for the time, well, I, I can still quite accept it for a neat uh, set for how it is, but yeah. As, and as for the price for piece, for piece ratio, I was quite kind of good for how it is, like, for the 1360 pieces for uh, for like uh, the $140 that it is uh, which is kind of similar to like previous Star Destroyers and things but still quite workable for that despite being a little smaller and also a bit more bulk to the to it but still quite good for how it is but yeah and so now if you're looking forward to Skeleton Crew then definitely pick up this set. And if you are looking to get this set for your Lego Star Wars and uh, Mandoverse Mandalorian Universe collection, then definitely pick it up. But yeah. And if you are to like blind buy it for the moment, then go ahead and do so. But yeah. And that's about it with this video. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Thank you for watching.